Alright guys, Hazen here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So in this one, we are going to talk about why free-to-play, well I've already spoken about this right, why free-to-play players shouldn't waste their dupes. And I'm going to tell you where, and show you where, you can get dupes without wasting your unique characters, right? I know the temptation's there, but don't do it. I've explained to you guys before, I put out a full video for this. But I named it terribly, so I don't think anyone watched it, right? Dupes are so important to you because dupes are going to absolutely dictate to you your account level, your character level in full. You need as many SS tier characters as you can get. So you should not ever, ever be using unique characters as fodder. The only time you should be using a unique character as fodder is if, like this, you have a character who is 5 stars. So now, my two Chun Li's are fodder. That is what their role is, they're there to be fodder. At that point, you can use those characters, right? However, before then, don't use those characters. You have to go through the slow process of taking your B characters up the star levels to, not the star levels, but the rarity levels, so that you can use them as food. The temptation is going to be there. You are going to look at your box and you are going to say to yourself, I hate DJ. Right now, I could use this DJ and I could take my Dudley up and then I could get my Dudley up even higher because if I look, I've got more Dudleys somewhere, right? But I'm not going to do that because I don't have this DJ at a high level yet, I don't have, if I go down and look, DJ is one of the characters that I haven't yet taken to SS or SSS. So I need him to raise the level of my account, so me consuming him as food, even if I don't like the unit, is counterproductive to my growth, okay? So what you guys need to do is you need to understand where you can get this fodder, right? Now there's a few places you can get this fodder. And even with an account that's maybe not the strongest, you can still get this fodder and start slowly growing that account to make it stronger. So, I'm going to look at the places where you can pick up fodder, right? Some of them are easier than others. Just to be clear, some of them are easier than others. So one of the places that you can get fodder is going to be from this tower, okay? As you progress through and as you beat stages, I think, I'm pretty sure you get fodder on every couple of these, I'm trying to see the actual last stage where I got a bunch, I think it was, was it that one, was it 100, it's one of them, where you get a whole bunch of them, I think it's this one here, I can't remember the exact stage, but in here you get fodder, right, you get shards that allow you to get fodder, more regularly, here you will get constant fodder, right, so all the way, I mean, you need to go all the way back, right? But well, every stage of this that you progress through, you are going to pick up character shards. Occasionally, you're going to pick up break stones, and as you get higher, you'll pick up higher character shards. So try and focus on pushing through here, right? The more levels of this you can do, the more of these B-grade fragments you're going to pick up. Picking up those B-grade fa fragments, really quickly build up in your account, and you are going to be able to summon fodder that you can use in there, right? Other places where you can get fodder, you've got global operations. Now, I've got all these, so I can't actually go in and show you the exact numbers. In fact, wait a minute, have I not done it? Oh, oh, I've got some I can get in there. But in these stages, they've got shards that you can get, right? You will get shards, those shards will allow you to grow your account a little bit. You're not going to get as many, but you will get them, right? Where you're going to get most, and this is going to scare you, right? This is going to scare you. It's going to be the inverse world. Now, I've put out a video before about the inverse world. However, I'm going to put out another one because I've refined it a little bit and I've got a bit, I'd say a little bit more cheesing type tips that you guys can use that might help you beat these stages. But from doing the inverse world, you are going to get, if you look at all of these, you are going to get lots of fodder, right? All the way up. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
these are hard. And they are. They are. Because of these handicaps, these are hard, right? However, I want to show you something, right? And this applies to you guys as well. So, you look at my fighter levels. 3 2 2, right? When it comes to the inverse world, if I go in here, I'm not actually going to do this, right? So, I'm just going to choose one, right? Go into the inverse world, bang. If I go to fighters, what levels are my characters? 272, right? It doesn't take your level, it gives you a level. So it will make characters in your box at a higher level than you have them, or lower level than you have them. It's like a standardised thing. So we all face the same challenge in here. What is different is things like this. Right, so if we go into here, if I go all the way down here, so there you go, Sakura. Right, just for example, Sakura. I've done nothing with Sakura. If I click Sakura, you can see that Sakura is wearing gear. So the game will give you gear for these characters, right? However, if we go all the way up to the top, you will see that your own gear, if it's stronger, still supersedes that gear, right? So the only thing that you can really do within this mode to make yourself stronger is twofold fighting spirit and gear, right? But we'll, we'll talk about that, right? So when it comes to picking your handicaps, depending on where you are, and depending on how much you would benefit from things like dupes, you might just want to go, okay, I'll pick, I'll pick these. I should be able to manage that. I'll get all of those B fragments and I'll get maybe one of the S or the A rep fragments. I'll beat this stage and then when I get a bit stronger, I'll come back in and I'll do it again, right? Do that for as many as you can, right? Pick these up. So look here, for example, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. That would be seven. Just just for doing to number 11. That would be seven dupes for B-class characters, right? So if we do that for each stage, 14, 28, 56, right? You know, by the time you get here, you're getting so many, right? Okay, I, I hear you now. It's easier said than done. That's why I'm gonna put out this other video. Hopefully it will help you guys get these, right? That's the aim in that video, is to help you guys get these. That's what we want to do, that is what I want to try and promote and try and make it so that you can get this account growth going without you having to spend money and stuff like that, okay? Now you will get shards from other places, like if you go on to do verses, it's not as regular, just to be clear, but you do get shards dropping in here, you also can get shards dropping in other places, like you can pick up shards from things like Effigy, you know, when you do these events, you get the rewards, when you get the rewards, you can trade the rewards for different things in the exchange. All these things are going to help your account growth, right? But for now, the main thing you want to focus on is what you can get dupes, oh sorry, how you can get dupes through playing not through trading in, not through spending currency, not through taking these limited time tickets you get for some events and just trading them for random fodder just because you need to grow. You want to try and use those tokens for more vital things like shards that are going to help your characters get stronger when you've got them and stuff like that. So you really want to target ways that you can earn your fodder and the ways that I've showed you are going to be the most easy kind of to tap into straight away right because you do not want to take that t-hawk who you don't care about and use him as food to make your mad ryu stronger although you can't do that because they're different classes but you know what i'm saying right you don't want to take t-hawk and feed them into kami just because you want kami to be stronger right you don't want to do that because you're going to regret it later yes in time it will probably come back to you and you don't have to worry about it but if, as a free-to-play player, you can push further on, you're going to get better idle rewards. Those better idle rewards are going to help your growth in the long term. So try and go out and earn those shards. Like I say, best places to probably do them is going to be your tower, it's going to be your inverse world. I will put a video out right after this, giving you a bit more cheesy, cheesy strats that can help you out in the inverse world, right?
that's what we'll call them, we'll call them cheesy, cheesy strats. Anyway guys, I've been Hazing, thanks for watching. Probably only going to be one more video today, um, I feel like six yesterday was quite a lot, um, so maybe four or five today is plenty. Anyway, catch you later, peace.